Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the system error 1058 has occurred. The service cannot be started, either because it is disabled or because it has no enabled devices associated with it. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in services, best match, come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Now, just take note of whatever service the error specifically pertains to here. So it doesn't really matter, but let's just say, for example, maybe it was the Windows Update service. You go down to Windows Update here, you double click on it, and you would set startup type to automatic, and then service status, you would start it. Something else you would try here as well, you would have to go underneath dependencies, and then expand the little plus sign after that to see what other services it depends on. So you just take note of both of them here. And then you would close out of here. So you can do apply and OK or cancel. And let's go up to both of them. So the first one was a DCOM service. And let me go ahead and double click on it. Make sure that is automatic and running. And then I'm going to go down to the RPC service. It says RPC here. And I go ahead and double click on it. And again, automatic and running. Now let me make sure that it was the correct RPC service. I know I'm kind of being a little nitpicky here, but let me just actually see the RPC endpoint mapper. So I believe that's the one I actually did adjust here. So just to double check, again, double click on it, make sure that's automatic and running. And again, you would do this for the specific service you're having the issue with that the error message is relating to in your specific case. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.